I've been single for the last two years now, and uh, you know, I haven't felt like a human touch in like, wow, <laughs> it's been, it's probably wow, it's been like six months since uh, anyone's even, even like bumped my fist really. <laughs> anyway, today we're gonna look at dating story time TikTok. You know, we need some good in our life because we're all alone on this quarantine, and together we're gonna look at some some people that are just living the life, and we're gonna cry together. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, here we go. When I was twenty, I booked a shoot, and at the shoot, I was asked if comfortable kissing the male model. Oh my gosh, look how attractive both of them are. He asked me to marry him. Oh, my. oh you made babies. They're beautiful babies because you're both beautiful people. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was such a happy story, guys. We'll never have anything like that, probably, but sure is good to look at that for a second. Okay, let's do it again. All right. Hey, yo. I, I thought I would show them off. Relationship check. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, look how happy they are. I don't know if, they know if they're... That's great. Good for them. Oh my goodness. Well, well done, boys. Guys, you just look at that and you say, here I am, alone in life. All right, next. I got happy. <laughs> this is fun. I love TikToks. Dating story time. Basically, I was messaging with this really cute guy that I met on a dating app. We set up a date. I show up. I look so cute. I'm so okay, okay, to okay, impress okay, this young okay. man. And, and he's not young. Tell me about a sister. This man that showed up was 20 years older than the one okay, I had been messaging weird. with. It was his father. <laughs> wow, can you imagine going on a date like that? That's weird. My last Tinder date I went on was like before this whole virus thing and I, I was I, I just hate him. I don't like them. I think they're awkward and I feel like I'm not gonna ever do one again. I just I just don't like them. They're weird. Cool story, bro. He was my best friend before we started dating. All right. Oh, oh, you got the zoo pick, the prom pick. You got the, the pick of something of the water by you. Oh my gosh, look how happy they are. Oh my gosh, look at that. Let's put let's put some creepy music in though, like creepy because we can't use that, it's probably copyrighted. So pop something over there and make it really weird. But happy for these guys. Good job, Ariana Lee, I'm happy for you. So I've had a couple dudes disagree with a previous video where I was telling women that they should drop a guy if he gets upset that you reject his sexual advances early on in the relationship to stand for your values and boundaries. So this is so specific. So I have that same hat. I don't know what he's saying. I just don't care. I don't like that he's moving the camera. We're going to the next one, folks. This is a very positive video. I'm going to take a quick ASMR here. <sighs> no. This next clip will be ASMR themed. But I never use Tinder. And then I never use Tinder in New York City again. A while ago, I went on a date with a guy who put in his bio that- This doesn't seem like a real voice. I'm just saying. That he was a surgeon. We meet up for coffee. That doesn't seem like a real voice. Yeah, I'm making small talk, so I'm like- Is she lip syncing? What kind of surgery do you do? It kind of looks like it. He goes, oh, I do surgery on rats. He's like, oh no, I'm self-employed. And I'm like, oh, interesting. What? And he was like, yeah, I've just been doing rat lobotomies in my basement. I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with all these rat brains yet, so I'm just practicing until I figure it out. I wish I had like a bad Tinder story for you guys, but I just don't. They're just like, you go up and you're like, hi, how are you? And they're like, hi, how are you? And you're like, I'm good, how are you? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm so good. And that's like pretty much it for two hours. And you're like, okay, bye, see you again. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just like weird. All right, maybe it's me. I'm the, I'm the common denominator. Cool guys, thanks, man, we just realized I'm weird. Let's go on. Let me make one thing clear. Make if it clear. I wanted a man, I would have one. That's how I feel about girl. If I wanted a girl, I would have one. Okay, people were like, oh my God, how are you still single? Cause I wanna be. Yes, this girl's me if I was a girl. She even looks like me if I was a girl. Flirting hack. Oh, here we go. And you wanna get noticed by your crush in a social type. Let me guess, make eye contact. Never, ever, ever approach them from behind. Instead, position yourself a few rows up. Oh, wait, is this for dudes? Pretend you're having an amazing time. This flirt. Oh, so I just pretend like I'm enjoying my life and they'll be attracted to me. That's great. So I could go up and just stand next to a girl I think's cute and I could just be like, wow, life's so good. And she'll be like, whoa, are you lover fella? Oh, hello there. I, I can see it now in my mind. Your rich dad is also the sweetest and most thoughtful man in the world. I love this room, by the way. So bright. So happy. So planty. Every week he makes me a fresh bouquet of flowers from our garden. He also brings me fresh lemon water and snacks every morning to my office while I'm working. Is that real? Nine years of marriage and you do that? Is this real? Do people's parents do this? All mine did was yell at each other and then get divorced. <laughs> Too true, right? So almost a year ago, I met this guy on TikTok and... The heck? Dude looks like a Minecraft character. That's a square... That's a, that's a jawline, folks. What's up with these attractive people meeting other attractive people on Tinder? Why is that? Is it, I, why don't I get attractive people when I'm on Tinder? I'm attractive. Look at my beard. Types of couples on quarantine. Lazy eaters. That's me. That's me. That's me. I'm in a giant beanbag chair all day eating chocolate. That's not me. I don't cook really well. I, I do work out, but I'll be honest with you. I work out at home, right? But like, even though nothing's changed, even though it's, it's like a quarantine now, and I feel like since everyone else slowed down, so am I. And so now I work out less at home, even though it literally changes nothing. I just don't want to do that today. CEOs at home, also me. <laughs> Story time. 
times. I went to Christian schools for most of my life and during senior year we had a marriage and family class. That basically taught us how to be good husbands, wives, and most of all, what? Not have sex before marriage. So our <laughs> oh, man. The teacher wanted to teach us about abstinence, and the way that he did that was he took a mint and he unwrapped it and he said, "This is my favorite mint. It's the best mint in the world. It smells good. It feels good. Here, you guys have a chance to feel and smell it." So we passed it around the whole class, and the whole class got a chance to have that sensory experience with it. And when it got back to the front of the class, he took it and put it back in the box with wrapped mints, and he mixed it all around and then he said i want you guys to have the full experience and be able to eat it and everybody took the mint that they wanted he was looking for the unwrapped mint and he couldn't find it anywhere he was like where is it i had taken the mint so i said we should love everyone don't f shame <laughs> she took the mint <laughs> hey, that's a real thing in class that's wild man we should call this coffee and tiktoks with lover fella because it's early and it's coffee time i was 23 and single mom to a 20 whoa she looks just like pewdiepie's wife marcia What, everyone's just suddenly a supermodel on TikTok now? Come on. Oh, okay, we're gonna freaking travel the world together with a half, oh my god, jeez, are you a supermodel too? Come on, guys, I haven't left my house in two months. Do not, I repeat, do not date someone that has rich parents. I was dating this girl, right, and Valentine's Day was coming up, and I was like, oh, sh I'm kind of broke right now. She's like, what you gonna give me for Valentine's Day? It's a secret. I go to Walmart with my $5. I'm like, what can I get with this $5? Flour? I see this one little box of chocolates for sale. I'm like, yes. yep, you, that's what we gonna get. Tell me why I get to my desk. There's a big bag. I look inside, there's a big card. There's a whole bunch of gummies. <laughs> like, that's, that's the whole deluxe deal. Suddenly I feel a tap on my shoulder. My girlfriend's standing there like, uh, where, where's my present, man? <laughs> Oh man, that's awkward, man. I don't like that, but like, yeah, I don't like, I never like Valentine's Day. It's a waste, all right? It's a waste. Not just saying that, because um, I'm alone in life. Ever went on when this guy was like, hey, you're an artist, I really want to go on a date with you. I'm also an artist. And I was this girl talks like me when I make videos. Like, she just goes really fast and she's like, doesn't stop at all. And she's like, the best thing ever. I love it. It's a really terrible date, though. I'm like, I don't know. Look at this. We got another one of these. You guys suck. I hate you. This isn't real. <laughs> Right? Do people actually- are people actually in relationships like this? No. Right? I don't want to believe that other people are having this experience and I'm not. We're good, guys. Don't worry. I got us covered. I hate this. What's up? Welcome to Megan's Do's and Don'ts Dating. I'm- I'm just gonna give you the don'ts, cause y'all single. Don't uh -huh. a guy named Brian. If his mom's name and his phone is her first name, nope. Who puts their mom's name as a first name? Who does that? Don't post that quote on your Instagram story. He doesn't know it's about him. He doesn't care. It takes 12 hours to text back, maybe not. What is that, a pickle jar? If he watches your TikToks and says, who is that about? If you can't burp around- Why is she holding a pickle jar? He's not your boyfriend. He's not your boyfriend. Are you drinking Don't say a guy cause he looks like your ex. And don't tell him he looks like your ex. If he vapes- Why is she gonna eat the pickle? Finally. Jeez, took like, I feel like I waited like three minutes for her to eat that pickle. Uh -huh. Oh my god, there was a hair on my pickle. Oh my gosh, what a twist. <laughs> wow. I didn't know we'd be having a twist like that in a video like this. For everyone asking, dating 1.5 years, met on Bumble, not Blake Griffin. That dude does look like Blake Griffin though. There's a lot of attractive people out there, isn't there guys? Two years ago, I went to a guy at Five Guys and told him he was good looking. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Traveled the world, moved in together, adopted a dog. Well, everyone's living Disney movies out here today. And I'm here quarantined in the middle of nowhere. Can't do this much longer. Let's get a few more in here though. An adult male weighs anywhere from 775 to 1200 pounds while a female <laughs> adult can weigh from 330 to 650. The largest polar bear ever recorded weighed 2,209 pounds according to Polar Bear International. <laughs> How much does a polar bear weigh? That is the oh, that is such a good response. <laughs> what have I never seen I that? I don't think I'm made for dating apps. Oh man, that's funny. Anyone else mentality dating a celebrity? Who's Single your celebrity or crush? Taken, but I am mentally dating a celebrity who has no idea I exist. Uh huh. Please tell me I'm not the only one. <laughs> Mine used to be Evangeline Lilly, but that ship has sailed because she said coronavirus is fake or something, which is weird. I just feel like that's that's just not it's not for me. So I moved on. Evangeline Lilly is no longer my celebrity crush. So I guess um I guess I'll need a replacement soon. Taylor Swift though, still number one. I'm texting. Courtney, I'm gonna ask her to dinner. How should I text it? Let's get I dinner. Love ASMR. Do you want to get dinner? Go with let's get dinner. So you're like assertive and confident for sure. This wait, wait. This guy looks like uh, that dude from 13 Reasons Why. Bryce. Actually, no, now you sound a little aggressive. Because you don't want to be the guy that's like, let's get dinner. Like you're some sort of caveman. You're supposed to ask her to dinner, not <laughs> tell her to dinner. Just say, do you want to get dinner? Perfect. Actually, wait, now you sound kind of like a <laughs> 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 If this ain't me. Guy, like, let's get dinner. I'm the breadwinner.
<laughs> said dinner would be something that I would enjoy taking you on if you were also interested in attending the meal. No way, I would like nothing more than to take you to the finest restaurant in town for a lovely meal that we call dinner. Should I send that to voicemail? Yeah, say dinner tonight, 7 p.m., take it or leave it, you b <laughs> He's getting more aggressive. I don't know why girls are so difficult all the time. Uh, I'm not gonna say Definitely that. don't say that, dude. I don't know. Just <laughs> <laughs> I used to do that, like, honestly. I'll be real with you. I did that. Once upon a time, my childhood friend Allie on the left called me up and she was like, Hey, I want to set you up on a blind date with my brother in law, Leif. And I was like, Eh, I'll probably be busy that day because mm -hmm. I really did not want to go on a blind date. And then I stalked his Instagram and I was like, Okay, okay, I could probably get down with that. Just kidding. That's his little brother. That's <laughs> it. So we ended up going on our first date. We went to a comedy club and then we got Chinese food and ate it. Oh, Chinese food is good. Treehouse, which was, we hit it off really well. He asked me on a second date and we started hanging out every single day, becoming best friends. Things were going so well until wow. his ex-girlfriend came along and hit him with this text. Ooh. And this was his reaction. I don't fault him for this because she had broken up with him only a few weeks Ooh. before he met me. He was not planning on getting in a relationship fresh out of this. He just honestly wanted to go on a fun little blind date. So like the cool, amazing, awesome girl I am, I said, you should go get closure with her. See if you want to still oh be gosh, with her or if weird. you want to still continue hanging out with me. Then I got- All right, I don't care anymore. All right, guys. So we've seen a lot of these, but I think it's time for me to make my own TikTok like this. Once upon a time, I started dating a girl when I was not even able to drive. I was 15 years old and my mom dropped me off at her house and I got there and I was like, yo, what's up? And she was like, hey, what's up? And we dated for seven years and then we went to different colleges and then, um, and then, um, and, and then we broke up and I became a full-time YouTuber. I think she's happy now. Me too. Okay, the end. Don't forget to like that screen, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in two days. Peace. <laughs>